Thanks for clicking on one of my videos. If you like this video, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and use code CWC before you buy anything in game. It helps out a lot. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an extremely powerful and extremely versatile attack strategy, all right? That's going to be the Asian Smash. Now, I've seen this on Itsu's channel. I've seen this on Laxnos's channel, and I've had a ton of respect those for those guys for many, many years. So I'm like, I absolutely have to try this army, man. And in this video, I'm going to show you how this bad boy is used because I was able to three-star so many, not only just so many different bases, but so many different base styles. Like any base style you can think of, I have three-starred with this, and I'm going to be showing examples of all those in this video also towards the end we're going to be going in doing a live attack that way you can see the decision making as it happens because once you see that base especially in legends you only have 30 seconds to get your plan or if you got it in war i mean you still have to come up with the plan eventually so seeing those live attacks can be really helpful in why i'm making those decisions on the fly and how to execute during the attack now check this out man we're coming in bk actually pushed into the compartment which is what i wanted i was just kind of doing the cross the fingers strategy right there because let's be honest I, I didn't funnel him in there really at all all right um, but look at this we're trying to get these troops to go into the core where they got to deal with those scatter shots plus we have to keep them moving towards that town hall all right town hall is a big bad defense in these bases and we got to make sure that we've got enough pathing to get our troops back to it and we've got just enough for that now on the back when you're but when you're coming up in the back Town hall on the back side of a base it can be risky for sure but one thing you gotta remember is if you're hit not hitting the town hall or the back side of the base you're not gonna be able to save your grand warden ability for that all right we had two scatter shots in the core uh with presumably a bunch of giant bombs which were absolutely there so we had to use that grand warden ability sooner on this if we would have tried to save it for the town hall there would have been nothing left to save with that grand warden ability so keep that in mind if you hit that town hall early by all means, use that Grand Warden ability for that Town Hall, damage that Town Hall Blast, but if you're coming upon it late in the base, you can't generally afford to save it that long. Now, look at this Royal Champion, man. She's doing some good things. Now, she's got two point defenses back here, so that's where I'm going to choose to play this Freeze. Otherwise, that Cannon and that Archer Tower would have made short work of her with no ability left. Now, that is going to leave a multi-target Inferno up, but let's be honest, man. A multi-target Inferno just really doesn't stand much of a threat to a Queen when she still has healers left. Sure enough, Queen's going to be able to take it out. Don't forget it clean up if you saw my army composition i got like two wizards and one or two minions in the comp that is for cleanup towards the end of the base right behind the royal champion drop the cleanup you're gonna triple a lot of bases let's check out the next one in this video we're gonna be covering a number of different base types as you can see last one was like an anti three star design this is an anti two star this is a straight up ring base so we're gonna try and drop that blimp right on top of that scatter shot but we want those yeti mites to go get this air defense as well we're trying to get this funnel created now we're dropping a wizard to try and finish off the funneling there boom and just like that we've got the queen funnel this trail of buildings over to the right is going to make sure she goes that way we got a billion skellies coming up my queen both from the air and the ground that poison spell is an absolute must to deal with those so we got that entire group poisoned and they're gonna die just like that now as far as the other side we want to kind of cut in this corner right here with the barbarian king so we're gonna drop a few wall breakers but they got small bombs so i'm gonna have to commit a couple more wall breakers for it now that only leaves me with four wall breakers for my next center wall break so i'm gonna have to wait until i have a little bit of tanking from some of those pekkas in there before i drop those wall breakers because six will get the wall break even if they die four will need to not die to get that wall break on the these max walls now we're gonna have to pop this king ability to create this funnel a little better and just like that we've got our funnel created into the core man and now we're gonna be taking that jump spell right in there all right now some of these bases don't have a lot in the core so getting your queen in there is gonna be enough to deal with it but this core has got all four expos and the town hall dude a queen alone is probably not going to be able to get that dealt with unless you got a lot of rages freezes and your ability is still intact we do still have our ability intact here but she's going to be in this outer channel sniping defenses and possibly doing a little bit of tanking for this royal champion when it comes right down to it look at this man we use that freeze spell to freeze the enemy queen who hits like a train and to freeze that multi-target inferno there as well trying to save those heat remaining healers a little bit longer if we can keep those healers alive that's going to 
go a long way to making sure that our heroes and P.E.K.K.A.s are topped up to wipe out this base. Now, we had two minions remaining, so we're going to get those started on the trash cleanup ring while these heroes are looking to finish off the rest of this base. Now, i got to play this Royal Champion ability smart to try and get some early damage in on that single target Inferno. And luckily, King is out in front of my RC, so he's going to be tanking it anyways. RC is going to get the single kill, and ladies and gentlemen, we got a ring base taken down by the Asians asian smash now i told you guys there was a bunch of different base styles that this works on and we've got the third ba different base style in just three replays right here man i'm gonna try and take out this multi-target inferno compartment because that's gonna create a really nice funnel for me if if they can get the rc kill great if not it would be she'd be so low on health my queen would be able to finish it off just fine and now that those defenses are gone my wizard's able to complete the funnel for my queen over here and got another wizard out there just to make sure queen doesn't wander too far up that direction that does mean i've only got two minions for cleanup now but getting that funnel correctly making sure your queen rocks the right way is always the best call now king witches and some wall breakers trying to get into the second layer of the base now we're sending pekka's coco loon super wizards and look at this dude i forgot to drop my warden i don't know which point i remember it but this is not good i'm like oh snap oh also also that jump was supposed to be a rage that jump dude i remember this attack dude i made so many mistakes i forgot to drop my warden still haven't oh there we go it was dropped i guess i just dropped a little bit late but that jump was supposed to be a rage so i was supposed to have another jump for this backside to open up this compartment and all the way over to these inferno towers right there so that mistake man i had that jump selected instead of the rage and i was like oh man this might not be good we're gonna have to beat through some walls dude so here we go rc's working on the bottom side i always wait until i have some tanking from some other troops to drop my royal champion in an area with hopefully no single target infernos and no enemy heroes either now she is running into the enemy barbarian king so and i didn't see that so i went ahead and froze the defenses when honestly the king was gonna kill her anyways man i should have just held on to that freeze a little bit longer but look at the queen positioning right here she went back for the jump and decided to actually for one time what like first time ever hit the one wall that's gonna allow her access to the two remaining multi-target infernos now one of those multis was targeting my healers that's why i froze that one and just like that man uh you know uh, kind of a disaster of an attack i made some big mistakes on this one and still got the triple dude look at this funky base man this is one of the ring bases that i was talking about that really just has the town hall in the middle but you know what on bases like this it yeah, it's kind of easy to make a funnel, man. They got that stuff pushed so far out on the edges. You really only have to funnel the outer edges, and then boom, you've, you've got your funnel. So I decided to use that Yeti Bomb there to go ahead and get rid of this scatter shot. Now, the Queen Walk is going to be starting in this direction and moving towards this center. Now, BK is going to come down with his Witches to try and funnel all this crap out here, man. As much of that crap as possible. And then I'm going to leave up the stuff in here. This is going to be my entry for my Smash. Now, we got that enemy BK on my Queen, so I'm going to have to invest a spell to get him dealt with. Uh, don't want to invest a rage. If you got a freeze, you can get away with just using a freeze and you're just fine and you've saved one spell space to use that rage deeper into the base. Now, we got some Coca Loons coming in well ahead of the P.E.K.K.A. or trying to get him ahead of the P.E.K.K.A.s there so they would not only pull Seeking Air Mines but also tank the single. Unfortunately, that didn't work out and the single did lock onto my P.E.K.K.A.s. Now, we got a jump going into the core. There's nowhere else for these troops to go, man. Everything else has been funneled. So we're going to send those P.E.K.K.A.s straight into the core we're gonna pop that grand warden ability it's gonna save all my super wizards pekkas heroes it even saves healers from seeking air mines in there now look at all these this is a heavy section of the base right here with all these expos but they're all being tanked by my core troops so that's why i'm able to sneak in my royal champion on that side while that heavy group of defenses was distracted mostly on my queen man the rc and the queen team up to get the expos destroyed saving the need to use either one of their abilities man and i gotta say at this point, I'm loving it. Now, we do get a single target in front of locked onto the queen, so it's a good thing we've got her ability to refocus the single, spawn some archers to tank and take out the single. Now, RC still has her ability, and guys, we're running out of defenses. We got some wizards and a minion working on cleanup, cleaning up that trash ring behind the royal champion. You gotta remember to get that down 
early otherwise you're going to be risking a time fail on this so as the royal champion as you see her starting to clear defenses get a cleanup troop behind her as you're moving along through the rest of the stuff try and get in all your rest of your cleanup troops down as soon as possible working on the trash ring and just like that man yet another different base style totally crushed by the asian smash Guys, this is the last one I'm going to show you before I'm going to go in live and give you a live example of the thought process that goes into this attack. Now, first of all, we're going to be Yeti bombing this single target Inferno compartment right here, man. Taking out that single and most of the defenses in here is going to be a huge bonus. Oh, we got the Warden platform too, man. That's huge. Once again, Wizard just completing, clearing that little ring right there so our queen has a clear path for the base. Now, we're going to try to wall break in the king over here, but we're also going to be starting the queen walk at about the same time. Now, do I get those? I don't get those wall breakers in time, man. I was distracted. I'm dropping my other troops. We're going to send the wall breakers, but they're late. And I'm going to burn a freeze just to get that single target Inferno broken because I want my king to stay alive, continue funneling, distracting defenses all the way around the base to keep my troops into the core. Now, look at this section we're going into, man. We already took out one of those scatter shots, right? And then we got our other scatter shot and our town hall. We're trying to make a direct push for all the most dangerous stuff in the base now we're coming into a lot of damage right here from the scatter shot and the eagle artillery so we and not to mention the the cc freaking loons there so we pop that grand warden ability early way before we get to the town hall to make sure that our troops are going to survive long enough to get that town hall down now we got pekka's and a few witches moving in towards the town hall pekka's going to be able to get that kill no problem a little assist from the warden and we're going to drop the rc while there's still a pekka in there doing some tanking we got the rc on the left there is a tesla farm over there that's rough but there's no heroes and there's no single target infernos and those are the ones that are going to kill that royal champion really fast every time look at my late coco loons coming in dude that is such a cory move to forget the coco loons and then just send them in super late in the attack at this point they're actually on the back side of the base helping to take down and tank an expo for the royal champion are you freaking kidding me man rc does not have an ability left otherwise you better believe i would have been popping it right there to get that some early damage in on that single as it is no ability so that single is going to be taking out my rc now it's up to my queen to take out this single luckily she stays out of the range of that single long enough to deal with skellies and trim some of these other structures around her all right we do have five wall breakers but honestly i don't know if it's going to help because she's in there and my wall breakers are out here man so there's really no way to target the right wall so we're going to pop that queen ability get the hole in the wall get the single taken out and that means we just got another three stars on another different style of base guys let's go do this attack live all right, man, first thing I want to do is create some OP pathing. Start that. I'm going to take out this multi. And boom. There we go. The wizard down. Oh, shoot. I thought it was going to pop. I really screwed that rage spell up. Come on, go backwards, go backwards. Into the rage, into the rage. There we go. Woo. For some reason, I thought that blimp was just going to pop itself. Not sure why I thought that, but obviously that's what I was thinking. There we go. Get those air skellies over there. And we'll get a wizard just to help out with those air skellies. Now I'm going to pop the king, get that scatter shot. Ooh, I like this pathing, man. Really, really like this pathing. Here we go. Oh, hey, you know what? Wardens are nice. They do help things, so maybe I should drop one, huh? All right, come on, healers. Start healing that group up. I wanted them to path towards the town hall first, and then over to the scatter shot. We're going to get a poison down on that witch. We're going to pop that Grand Horden ability right before that scatter shot blast lands right there. And we're going to start the RC over on this side here. Just in case nothing decides to go get that scatter shot, we're still good. Dude, I made so many mistakes on this. Also, open wall pieces that are kind of the meta right now, but not always in legend bases. So I have a ton of freaking wall breakers that I have not had to use at all. Right now, we got a queen ability. We got an RC ability. And we got multi-target infernos remaining. I got to tell you guys, I really like the looks of this. I don't mind it really at all. We're going to get rid of that archer tower. Then we're going to go and get a little freeze down on that expo. Ooh, 
those freaking skellies. Oh yeah, RC took out the bow before she had to deal with the skellies. That's what's up. We'll get a minion out here. Now, what's gonna do the damage? Probably that archer tower, if it locks on, it will. So we're gonna go ahead and freeze that. That way RC has a chance to get through the multi. There we go. And I don't know if she's gonna get the wizard. Oh, she got the wizard tower. That's what's up. Dude, I got so many wall breakers. I'm going to pop my queen ability just for time. But dude, we had like still 34 seconds left. So we got plenty of time. So we're just going to spam in these wall breakers. Here we go. Just start spamming those things. That way they're not left over in our next army. Obviously could have swagged them, but swagging wall breakers. I don't know. That That's not really a thing. Here we go. Queen 15 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you triple with this army, man. Carve one side in with the Yeti Bomb. Carve the other side. Like, if you can send the king in like I did there, that's the way to go, man. Usually, if you're using this in war, you got super goblins to help funnel your king into a certain area. If you got a wall break him in, that's fine. But, guys, this attack is fantastic. I absolutely love it. And, friends, I'll see you in the next video.